quick editor's note before we begin the video of one hour straight of bolos and that is not clickbait you are going to enter the mind of an ebay madman and get a glimpse of how i see the world i truly believe that this is the best bolo video that has ever been put on the internet if there is a better one link me i will relinquish the title and I will make a better one. If this is the first time you're here on this video, for the last 15 years, I've been the number one seller of pre-owned clothing on eBay, and I teach people how to sell on eBay. But more importantly, I teach people how to do it the right way. No shortcuts, everything above the line, everything done correctly. And I've helped thousands of people, whether it's to earn side income, retire themselves, supplemental income, retire their spouse, six figures, six figure income. I've helped people build seven figure businesses, Every single day we're in there working, every single day we're in there learning, and we have calls on every single niche. We have a 24-7 community co-worker space where you can work alongside others and get questions answered immediately. In addition to the morning call, which I host Monday through Friday every morning, I do the Tuesday night call, which sometimes goes three, four, five, one time, even 12 hours long. If you have questions, I have answers. I also host a $100,000 call. We have a beginner call, women's fashion call, men's clothing sellers, vintage clothing, deep dive and bolo call, toy sellers, local selling, Facebook marketplace, pallet selling, book club, scheduling call, shoe sellers, jewelry sellers, car part sellers, media sellers. We have a call just for Australian sellers. We have a call just for UK sellers. We have bookkeeping and accounting help, YouTube and social media call, antiques and collectibles, Gene sellers, Poshmark sellers, video game sellers, sports cards, and TCGs. You get access to all the files, all the resources. We have guided walkthroughs. We have everything on the front end and the back end. We have item specific guides. We have everything that you need. We have the zip code call, which shows you how to find profitable items in your area. We have the title structure call, how to list an item in under one minute, how to photograph an item in under one minute. You get access to all 30 coaches in the group and it comes with a 100% money back guarantee. It's $1 per day. And if you cannot make an extra dollar per day with access to everything that we offer, I will gladly and happily offer you a 100% full refund. So with that said, I'm not gonna okie doke you. I will always give you a quality answer. I will always give you my best effort. And if you've been in the group, drop a comment below and you could testify to that. So with that said, please enjoy the video. And this is gonna be the best Bolo video you've ever seen. I can guarantee that. What's up party people? My name is Tech and for the last 15 years, I was the number one seller of pre-owned men's clothing on eBay. But today we're at Disney World, but this is not a Disney World video. You're gonna roll along with me this weekend. I am going to give you the most comprehensive list of Bolos that has ever been compiled anywhere on the internet. And I did not compile this list previously. I have no papers. This is all from right here, straight off the dome. I'm gonna call it like I see it. It's gonna be rapid fire, hundreds of bolos guaranteed. And I don't even know what I'm gonna see or what I'm gonna show you, but I already know I can guarantee you hundreds of bolos just due to the vast amount of knowledge that I've had for the last 15 years of being the number one seller on eBay. And it's not just clothing. I've been a flea market veteran for the better part of 15 years as well. I know all the flea market bolos. So regardless of what niche you are in, you have come to the right place. There's gonna be a lot of information here, a ton, a fire hose of information. I would suggest watch the video all the way through, go back and watch it again, and then pause every single time that I mention a bolo, go onto the eBay machine, and then do your own deep dive into the brand so you can actually get a full understanding of what we're looking at and what we're talking about. So with that said, this is going to be a fun video and let's enjoy the ride. So we got the Clydesdale horse. Bolo for Clydesdale would be Budweiser, vintage Budweiser, the shirts, the hats, the jackets, vintage Budweiser, post some comps now. So I just filmed the intro like five feet behind me and I just gave you the Clydesdale Budweiser Bolo and I already see a bolo right here. This is gonna be rapid fire, like every 15 feet of this entire weekend, there will be a bolo. Over here, they got a little firehouse and a great item to look for, especially polo, um, is the fireman jackets with the lobster clasp. And lobster clasp is a great keyword. Definitely go to the eBay machine and do a little bit of research on that. So be on the lookout for those fireman jackets with the lobster clasp. And right here, we have a Dalmatian. I have a great bolo for you. This Donnybrook jacket, 
that Rihanna wore. I've sold this jacket for over $500. And right next to our Dalmatian, we have these fireman boots and fireman boots and actual fireman jackets and uniforms. Those sell too. And I think those go to like volunteer firefighters. So if you do see those, the boots, the, the fireproof pants and the fireproof jackets, those sell. There's going to be some Disney bolos in here, but for the most part, the stuff is not going to be Disney bolos. So here we have a jean jacket and you want to look for the Levi's jean jackets and they have different kinds, type one, type two, type three. All of them are worth more money. You want to look for the buckle back and you see how this has patches on it. This has Disney patches, it's okay because it's a Disney jacket, but if you have a Levi's jacket with Disney patches or with Harley patches or anything like that, that is not okay to sell because it is not an authorized Harley item or Disney item. It is a regular jacket with a Harley patch, so you have to be careful, you will get a Vero. So here is a Disney Bolo. These character hats, like with the ears and stuff, especially the vintage ones, they sell well. I sold a 101 Dalmatian one a couple of weeks ago for either 100 or $200. I'll put that here. And then also these ears, some of them are more rare than others. So if you can get a rare one, the ears do sell. However, there are some counterfeits of these ears, so you have to be careful. And you turn around from the character hats and they have these Starbucks tumblers from Disney. And these regularly priced are $50, $30 on sale. But you can pick these up once they do hit the thrift, you know, five bucks, 10 bucks. There is room for profit on these. And usually when you find one, you find several. And that's a good opportunity to make a lot. Nightmare Before Christmas reminded me back in my flea market days, I purchased a Nightmare Before Christmas snow globe, um, maybe 20 bucks or so. And I ended up selling it for a couple hundred bucks. So Disney snow globes, those are great as well. You do have to be careful with them. You have to be careful packing them. So it could be a little bit of a pain. Disney taking a little bit of inspiration from North Face, their take on the North Face Denali jacket. And the Denali jackets can do okay, depending on colorway. It is a very common jacket, so it can be a little bit saturated, but the colorway can be king for that one. But one of my favorite jackets to sell for North Face is Steep Tech. And while we're sitting here, we got this deep pile. Deep pile is a great keyword for Patagonia. And Patagonia, you want to look for the Retro X, and you also want to look for the oatmeal colorway. This whole room over here is just full of plush. But did you know about the Douglas full-size Lion King plush? Those routinely sell for around a thousand bucks. So one time at the flea market, there was a storage unit buyer, and he had a ton of Barbies. So at the time, I didn't know about Barbies, but I looked up a few, and you know the deal looked good, so I ended up buying the deal. But the most lucrative Barbies that were in that deal were the porcelain ones, and then the designer original one. So Barbie had all these collabs with like Ralph Lauren, Louis Vuitton, all these different ones. And what I learned from doing that deal, and there was probably like close to a thousand Barbies there. What I learned was that the bigger the box and the more ornate the box, the more money it is. And like some of those boxes that the Barbies came in were like the size of a football. And I knew when I came to those boxes, that one was going to be big money. You see these board game collaborations with Disney, those do pretty well, but any kind of board game collaboration does great, especially the Monopoly collaborations, and I'll throw a couple up here. So if you've ever been to Disney, you know about Casey's. Casey's is a baseball-themed restaurant, so I'll give you a couple baseball bolos. For baseball gloves, you're looking for Rawlings, Heart of the Hide, Rawlings Pro Preferred, Wilson A2000, Wilson A2K, and for baseball bats, any of the Bursas, BB Core is okay, but anything pre-Bursa, that's what you're looking for, like the Easton Redline, the Easton Z2K, uh, the Stealth, and baseball bats are easy to look up. They have the brand on them, and they also have the model number on them. Roll them in your hands, make sure they have no cracks or dents. And while we're standing here, these old hats like this, you want to look for Ebbetsfield flannels. And these hats right here are called pillbox hats. And on the way out, I'll mention pennants. The old pennants can be good. They are a little bit fragile and it does take a little bit to ship. You probably want to try to ship these flat and not roll it up. But some old pennants can be very valuable. Puzzle Bolo, Ravensburger, and the 3D puzzles. So I know at this stage in the game, I'm a clothing seller, but all of these bolos I'm giving you, I've actually sold before in the past. 99% of them I've sold. If I haven't sold it, I'm going to tell you, I have no experience in this, but this is something that does sell and maybe you can take that opportunity. So Pocahontas diorama, I have sold Pocahontas shirts for crazy money, I'll link some. Vintage Aladdin shirts, there was a shirt during the shutdown that is a genie all over print shirt that sold for $6,000 on Instagram Live and totally upended the vintage community. And I also have had these Beauty of the Beast shirts several times. So Disney's all decked out in Halloween decorations and horror shirts are a great genre. Vintage horror shirts sell for a lot of money. Um, but Buffy the Vampire Slayer shirts, 
I've sold a few of those this past year for three, five hundred dollars. And this guy's got some chucks, but the chucks isn't the bolo. It's the made in USA Chuck Taylors. Huge money. And why we're on Converse, the vintage Jack Purcell made in USA do good. And also, if you can get the same colorway that Kurt Cobain wore, those go for a premium. While we're on Kurt Cobain, vintage Kurt Cobain, vintage Nirvana shirts do well heart-shaped box. So most people probably know the brand Lily Pulitzer. Great brand. Always has these kind of patterns. Here's a collaboration with Disney. Another good brand that does a lot of Disney collaborations is Dooney and Burke. A lot of people probably know the brand. Vera Bradley, another good brand. Anything good name brand plus Disney collaboration is just going to take it to a whole other level. Something that we studied in the jewelry call in the group were intaglios and cameos. Good rabbit holes to go down if you sell jewelry. There's another one. Blown glass, $100,000. Also this one, if you see this one at the thrift, maybe pick it up, don't pass. Original price, $52,745. All right guys, I told you, if I have no experience selling the item, I'm gonna make the disclaimer. I have no experience selling this item right here. This one right here is $285,000. It's a ton of Swarovski crystals. I can never say the word. 678 hand set crystals. So if you guys see this at a garage sale or a flea market or your local thrift store, pick it up. And if you do see it and you learned a bolo from here because of me, that's a split. 50-50. All right. So I actually do have a real bolo here. You see that torch in the middle? They use that to turn on the flame for the blown glass. They use these rods and they make this art. And as crazy as this is, about two or three years into my flea market career, a storage unit vendor had a couple of these on the table. And he pulled me over and he said, hey, these sell for a lot of money on eBay. I know you do eBay. He showed me some comps that were several hundred dollars and he sold them to me for a hundred dollars each. It was two or three at the time. We got a couple of villains here. A good genre for vintage t-shirts is Disney villains. Shirts are kind of common. I've had several of these several amount of times. Ice cream cones, but... The brand ice cream by Pharrell, who is now the creative designer for Louis Vuitton, is a good brand. I have seen people get Vero's for ice cream and Billionaire Boys Club, so you have to be a little bit careful. Speaking of Pharrell, he also does some stuff with Adidas under the human race line. And Pharrell was really one of the foremost innovators of fashion in this generation. He is one of the main reasons why Bape gained such popularity. Bape was originally owned by Nigo. And a lot of the Bape stuff, the Bapesters, the Bapesters are coming back. Bape is coming back. Shout out to Sean Weatherspoon. Bolo for this job opening. You see this guideline up here? Word on the streets is that Tinkerbell gets paid $800 a night to fly from there to there during the fireworks. 30 seconds of work. The only stipulation is you have to be like four foot eight. We're heading into Tomorrowland and all those planets, it reminds me of Astro World. Astro World, search Travis Scott, search Cactus Jack. Very, very, very popular right now. Oh, Fabar bag, great brand. Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. They do have a brand called Frog Togs, which I don't know, it's kind of hit and miss, but they do make a lot of camo stuff and waterproof stuff. So my favorite camo is the duck camo, and I like it when it's on the Columbia, the vintage Columbia stuff. But they have all different kinds of camo and all different kinds of names. They have Marsh, there's Real Tree, there's Digital Camo, and all of those prints are different. So definitely go down the rabbit hole of different types of camo. Also, speaking of camo, ghillie suits, be on the lookout. Stitch has a couple good shirts out there. Space Mountain also has some grails. I've had each of these a time or two. So most Disney pins are not worth picking up. They're very mass produced and they don't have good resale value. But kind of like the three ways to make money on pins is picking up an entire collection for cheap, selling it as a whole collection to somebody else, or you can piece and part it out if you want. Or on the back of some of these pins, they show that they're limited edition, like one out of a thousand, one out of a hundred, one out of 50. Obviously the more limited it is, the more money it's going to be. Or there are some pins that are older from like some defunct Disney things. And those defunct Disney pins, those do sell for good money. So this isn't the Tron shirt you're looking for. It's this one. 
here is a couple more Tron bolos for you. There's some NASCAR bolos for you. My favorite one is the NASCAR Jurassic Park shirt. But for NASCAR shirts, you're looking for vintage. You're looking for all over print. You're looking for big, huge, loud graphics. So you see that poster way over there? That guy with the gold face, that looks like the Mr. Gold minifig. That's a bolo. I know we're in the mouse's house, but this little mouse right here reminded me of biker mice from Mars. You won't get rich selling them, but they are super cool. I know earlier we showed you the Dalmatian in the firehouse, and I don't know if Goofy is confirmed to be a dog, but here's another dog bolo. Vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, Hot Spot is the guy's name. So here we are underneath Cinderella's castle, and I'm gonna show you how deep my bolo list is. No, it's not Big Pony. We got a cat right here. Vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, Scratch. A couple horse-related bolos for the carousel. Bit and bridle is a great thing to look for for polo, especially this Stampede shirt, which is a grail. I've had it in orange and white. Sells great, something that people are looking for. A couple more horse-related ones are the equestrian boots, the brand Carrot, and also the brand Longchamp. All right, Sword and the Stone. We all know the wizard is in the Sword and the Stone. Magic the Gathering, Black Lotus. You find that, you could put a down payment on a house. The Bippity Boppity Boutique is right over there. This is the Princess Fairy Tale Hall. And this is a princess bolo for everybody. Again, come close. The Princess Diana Purple Beanie Baby. That one. So I wasn't going to clarify the last one. I was just going to let it sit. But I realized there might be some people that are brand new and might think that the Princess Diana Beanie Baby is worth a ton of money. And they're going to find it and say, oh, this guy told me it was worth a ton of money. I'm rich. All right, that one was a joke. Here we are in the 100 Acre Woods. And you know I couldn't leave you hanging without a bear bolo. My favorite bear is the polo bear. They got the sit down bear. They got the tuxedo bear. If you can find the bear knit polo sweaters, this is an eagle eyed bolo in 100 Acre Woods. Kanga, the kangaroo character. I know a lot of you guys are thinking, Kangle, the hats. Those do sell okay. Every single time I list them, they sell. But who's most known for wearing the Kango hats? That's right, LL Cool J. This is one to look out for. The brand Troop. If you can find that stuff, you might be able to buy a Honda Camry. Still in the 100 Acre Woods, we have this Fox. Fox racing pants with the padding does good. The Fox racing jerseys are good. The older Fox stuff is good. Flaufu Raven, I don't know how to say that one, but that's a good brand and also vintage Star Fox shirts. I've sold this shirt probably three or four times in mint condition and also horrible condition. That was our first video game bolo of the entire video, but trust me, I have plenty more. If you sell video games, follow Jack at Video Game Sourcing. He is a beast when it comes to video games. He did $1 million a year on Amazon solo. He hosts the video game call in the Facebook group. He knows just about everything about video games, super knowledgeable. Definitely give that uh, call a listen if you're interested in selling video games. All right, this one is obscure. You see the honeycomb up there? 100 Acre Woods. On the bottom of the Allen Iverson answer sneakers has the honeycomb DMX technology. This is a throwback. So Reeboks with the honeycomb was their response to Nike Air. And speaking of DMX, I've had this wrapped here a couple of times and sold it for over $1,000 each time. So speaking of Allen Iverson, he just became one of the VPs for Reebok last week and Shaq was made president. So Shaq had a great pair of shoes in the 90s, iconic, the Shaq Gnosis shoes. They kind of look like the Sean Kemp Kamikazes. Those were cool too. But speaking of Reebok and the honeycomb, my favorite pair of Reebok with the honeycomb technology was the Frank Thomas Big Hurt shoes. I had those in sixth grade. But I was more of a Griffey Nike, Nike guy, and I had all the Griffies, and I really liked the Deion Sanders Turf Diamond line. I had the Turf Diamonds in eighth grade. Mad Hatter Tea Party. And this is kind of how my brain works. Like, I just connect all of these things in a string. So we have Tea Party. Where was the Tea Party? Boston. There is a very controversial Nike shirt that they released prior to the marathon. And the Nike shirt says Boston Massacre, and it has some splatters on it. 
and it is a New York Yankee shirt for their rivalry with the Boston Red Sox. But that Nike shirt that says Boston Massacre was recalled, taken off the shelves. There are some out there. I've sold it two or three times. All right, guys, I'm on fire. The Boston Tea Party was right there. The Cheshire Cat, look what he's wearing. He's wearing a guest striped shirt that a couple years ago blew up, gained popularity once again because ASAP Rocky started wearing it. Once he wore it, it blew up, Guest did a collaboration with ASAP Rocky, and now he has his own guest striped shirt. Those also do well, but the best guest striped shirt that you could get is the brown on brown because that shirt is from Menace to Society. So if you guys have made it this far and think this is crazy, all of this stuff is locked inside of my head. I've never written it down anywhere, but what I do have is a Facebook group where I do live calls every single day and we talk reselling. I I'm trying to get this stuff out of my brain and documented and I'm currently building the largest database anywhere on the internet about reselling. And as I'm standing here, we're back at the NASCAR one. Great bolo for you. Another video game bolo. RC Pro Am 2. Not RC Pro Am 1. That one's garbage. RC Pro Am 2. I don't have any experience with this one personally, but old vintage circus signage and advertising sells well. But I do have a funny story for this. Michael in the Facebook group who hosts the toy call does a lot with signage. He had a bunch of vintage circus stuff that he sold to Linda. Linda hosts the jewelry call in the Facebook group. He sold these signs to Linda before even any of them were in the group many years ago. Linda took those signs and she appeared on Pawn Stars with them. Gaston flexing. We got Beauty and the Beast over there. What logo from the 90s does this remind you of? You're gonna have to really scratch your head and dive deep, but once I tell you, you'll see it. Do you guys remember Bad Boys Club? That brand hasn't come back yet, but I think that one's got a chance. But a similar brand to that in the same time frame was No Fear, and I think No Fear is starting to trend up. So we got this woven tapestry right here, and Belle is my wife's favorite character. But a similar item to this, and what it reminds me of, is Sugar Street Weavers. Those sweaters sell so great. So I'll give you a train bolo. I got plenty, but I'll pace myself. The striped overalls and the ones from Liberty and Conductor Hats. Conductor Hats don't do totally awesome, but they always sell. There's a huge following for train stuff. And since we did talk about overalls, the vintage orange tab Levi's overalls and also the Tommy Hilfiger overalls that Aaliyah wore and Beyonce Peter Pan. And we all know that the nemesis of Captain Hook was the crocodile. We know what brand is the crocodile. That's the cost. But the best stuff for me that sells the best is the Andy Roddick Lacoste collaboration. Sells great. And speaking of Peter Pan, my favorite version is Hook with Robin Williams. Here's a really awesome Robin Williams wrap tee. Spotted from across the way. This right here, Ralph Lauren Sportsman line and Ralph Lauren Protect Wildlife. Two of my favorite lines from Polo. While we're doing Ralph Lauren bolos, let me give you a couple more. 1993 RL93, the sailing line, is one of the holy grails of the entire brand. While we're on 93, let's give you 1992, the stadium line. The one with the plate on the front, I've never found it. That kind of spooks me and haunts me to this day. I really want to find the stadium plate jacket. Here's another sailing gear one that I just remembered. Vintage Tommy Hilfiger, sailing gear. Drake wore the jacket right after that. Price went up and I sold that jacket for as much as 400 bucks. Haunted Mansion. There's a really cool vintage Haunted Mansion shirt out there. It's kind of common. You can find it many times out here in the wild, wild west. You gotta learn your rodeo brands and your western brands. Cinch, Panhandle Slim, Wrangler Brush Popper, Levi's Pearl Snaps. You gotta learn your pockets, sawtooth pockets. All of that stuff matters. Do a deep dive in each one of those things. And for the women's clothing sellers, wagon look, prairie dresses, cottage core. That's not my niche, but I know someone that knows everything about that stuff, Michelle. I'll tag her channel below. She hosts the clothing call in the Facebook group. She is a tremendous wealth of information. Country Bear Jamboree. And a couple years ago, I acquired a wrap tea collection from the early 2000s. They were all dead stock. Inside of that collection was two dead stock Kanye West college dropout wrap tees. And they were nowhere to be found in dead stock condition and very rare to be found even pre-owned. 
I ended up selling each one of those shirts for over a thousand dollars each. Some of the other shirts that were good from that lot was a Deadstock Outcast Aquemini shirt. And then I had a couple Deadstock Nas shirts. One was for I Am, and then the other one was for Illmatic. So speaking of rappers' clothing lines, Outcast had a clothing line in the early 2000s. It doesn't do great, but it was still kind of cool. It does sell. Um, you have Woo Wear, which is a great brand. You have Johnny Blaze, which was started by Method Man. You have Vocal, which was started by Nelly. You have Shady, started by Eminem. G-Unit, started by 50 Cent. Sean John, started by P. Diddy. Rockaware, started by Jay-Z and Dame Dash. And you may as well just throw FUBU in there. Um, lots and lots of brands like that from the early 2000s. And that stuff is coming back in style and will be back in style. We're about to grab lunch at Pecos Bill. In my opinion, the best place. The nachos, I'm all in. Over here on this wall, they have a, a blanket. What you want to look for is Pendleton blankets, Hudson blankets, anything Navajo print, Aztec print, any jacket that's blanket lined. Just left Pecos Bill for lunch. The Bolo Marathon continues. The marathon continues. Nipsey Hustle, Crenshaw Marathon. Go over here in Pirates of the Caribbean. You know our guy Captain Jack Sparrow had the dreadlocks. One of the most sought after pieces of polo clothing is the Rasta tank top with the 1992 stadium plate on it. The vintage Nike Spike Lee Urban Jungle stuff is really cool. And also the 40 acres and a mule stuff is really good from Spike Lee too. And we just spoke about the Spike Lee Urban Jungle Spike Lee 40 acres and a mule. The print on a lot of Jordans is called elephant print. And the elephant print Jordan hats some of those do amazing camelback backpacks the one that hold water some of those sell okay but you know north face backpacks osprey backpacks if it the more rugged the more heavy duty the bigger it is the better the price is going to be here we are at the swiss family robinson treehouse which reminds me of treehouse of horror the simpsons halloween episodes and since halloween is next week it's very fitting Vintage Bart Simpson shirts do great. They also have bootleg Bart Simpson shirts, which do great, but you cannot sell those on eBay, technically speaking. And I'll give you a Halloween bolo. Vintage Scream mask, the original, that one sells great. And since I said mask, it reminded me of the vintage mask shirts from Jim Carrey movie. Those are worth thousands of dollars. Right underneath the treehouse is a bunch of bluegill, brim, sunfish, and those guys are absolutely living the life at Disney World undisturbed. There's some giant ones down there. So I don't have much experience in it, but old fishing reels, pen reels, old flies from fly fishing. And, you know, Carl, he hosts the antique call. He has 40 years experience fly fishing, 40 years experience in antiques. That's the guy to go to. But now that I'm sitting here thinking a great brand, that goes along with fishing and fly fishing is Orvis. Not everything sells from it, but the right kind of pieces do command the right kind of money. Flag Bolo, you can pick these up at the flea market usually. Any flag that has less than 50 stars, 48, any flag that has sewn stars and less than 50 stars. This is a creeper video, but I sold that Roger Rabbit Hawaiian shirt like three months ago in the same day that I listed it. Here's a monorail Bolo. At the flea market one time, I got a brand new in box monorail set that had the contemporary hotel as part of it. The box was all junked up and beat up. It was still brand new. And I sold that for like three or 400 bucks. New park, same game, Animal Kingdom. Y'all think you can stump me here? We could just start right here. Dragon, the liquid blue all over print dragon shirt. That one's too easy though. Panzer Dragoon for the Sega Saturn. That's a heavy hitter. And pretty much every single game for the Sega Saturn is probably worth picking up. About 47 feet into the park, you look at this and you say, how in the world can you get a bolo from this? Easy. This Jaguar right here, the original Jackson Jaguars logo was too close to the Jaguar, the car logo. And for that reason, for six months, they printed out a bunch of Jacksonville Jaguar gear that they had to change the entire format of the logo. And that Jaguar gear is worth so much more than regular Jacksonville Jaguar gear. So we're at a whole new park now. And maybe I just got lucky at Disney World. Maybe it was the first one. I had a pocket full of bolos and like, that's it. I'm done. I, I, I shot my shot. But this is what I want you guys to do. I want you to challenge me. Put in, the put in the comments below. Challenge me. Where can I go 
and you guys think I can find no bolos. Challenge. So this is a weird one, and I don't think many people look for them. The Polo Ralph Lauren robes sell good. The Tommy Bahama robes sell good that have the big embroideries on the back. I've probably sold maybe a hundred of them in my eBay career, but every time I list them, they do sell. So I don't know much about drums, but I have sold a couple of cymbals in the past only because my uncle is a drummer and he told me to look out for Sabian and Zildjian. And one time I did find some Zildjian cymbals made in Turkey and I ended up selling them for a couple hundred bucks. Looking at the waterfall, the vintage TLC shirts, Obviously, those sell for a lot of money. The ones that are the vintage bootlegs with all like the purple and yellow graphics, those are the best ones. But even like the ones from the No Scrubs album, those sell fine too. One of my favorite toys from when I was a kid was Exo Squad. Now, this is not Exo Squad, but it sure does look like it. We're entering Africa over here at Animal Kingdom. And I want to point out this green bike vintage GT dinos and vintage mongoose. Great item to pick up at garage sales or flea market and then do local pickup. The Lion King vintage Disney shirt is probably my favorite one, the black and white one. All right, guys, so if you've made it this far, obviously you're liking the video because you've made it through like at least 100 bolos by now. Subscribe, share the video, drop a comment. But don't drop a comment now. You're not even obligated to drop a comment now. This is what I really want from you. Every single time you find an item out at the thrift store or the flea market or a garage sale, that you remember and learned from this video, every single time come back to this video, drop a comment and show me what you found because I actually really want to know. See our guy up here has the vest. Now, of course, the polo vest do good. The L.L. Bean vest do good. Willis and Geiger is a great brand that would make something like this. But the bolo is Dom key. They make photography vests and those sell fantastic. All right, here's an opportunity for you to make $100,000. There used to be a lady who used to go to my flea market early in the morning, and she used to get all the strollers. She knew all the bolos. She would buy them at the flea market for cheap, take them home, sell them from her garage on offer up, on let go, and she probably was making a fortune. Not only can you make money with me, you can also save money with me. These Nike Mickey Mouse hats, are at the park for $39.99, but my wife is wearing the same exact hat that we got from the flea market for $2. A guy just walked past me in this Dennis Rodman shirt, and this Dennis Rodman shirt is cool because it comes in multiple variations with different hair colors. This is an old copy, and you see he's got some pants on. He's wearing some Zubaz. The Zubaz hats also do well. This is a meerkat, but for scientific bolo purposes, Marmont. Very close. Vintage King Kong shirts. That screaming kid back there, his dad had an Iron Maiden shirt on. It was a reprint, but some Iron Maiden shirts, like the Raglans, you could buy like a 92 a quart if you sold one of those. All right, this might be a reach, but it is a bolo. So this, when I came around the corner, looks like a rock with a face painted on it. We all know Wilson with the face painted on it from the movie. The Wilson volleyball is a bolo. Over here staffing for a frozen Coke. And I know these are bottles, but vintage soda cans. Some of those can be worth thousands of dollars. We got the vintage Flintstone shirt. I know I already gave you some dragon bolos out front, but this is a Komodo dragon. And I got another dragon bolo for you. Little Samson for the Nintendo. So they've got some bats over here, kind of cool, kind of creepy, but the bolo for this is minor league baseball hat. So one of the most common teams that I find is the Louisville bats, but my favorite names are the Portland Sea Dogs, the New Orleans Baby Cakes, and the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp. And all three of those teams are Florida Marlin affiliates at one point in time. We got a tiger up there, and if you remember the video that we did with Quick Stop for the Rag House, he showed us a vintage liquid blue all over print tiger shirt. So this is part of where the tiger lives. But if you look close, we have a smashed pumpkin, melancholy and the infinite sadness. Come on, you know that smashing pumpkins one was good. Give me credit. So over here, you got an owl. And that's the logo for Drake's OVO brand. You have to be careful. There's a lot of fakes of OVO. But also a bolo for the future. Drake just released a collaboration brand with Nike called Nocta, which a lot of the shoes look like they're inspired by the old Jason Kidd shoes. So on top of this roller coaster mountain, there's a Yeti. And the bolo here is obviously going to be Yeti. Not the mugs, not the shirts. I've heard 
maybe there's a little bit of a Vero issue for Yeti because there is a lot of counterfeits of, of the mugs. But the Yeti coolers are so expensive at the store that you can pick those up at the flea market and then you can sell them locally. Another cooler bolo is Tommy Bahama coolers. Again, pick them up locally, sell them locally. Once upon a time in reselling, you can pick up any Polaroid camera and the Impossible Project for Cream City cameras would buy it immediately on eBay. They were buying tens of thousands of Polaroids per month. They've since pulled back and they don't buy them anymore. But there's a Polaroid Bolo, Polaroid SX70. Those cameras and also just unused Polaroid film. So for Finding Nemo, they got Bruce, the great white shark. So the Bolo for this is Street Sharks, toy from the 90s. Those do really, really good. But Nemo is a clownfish, so the Insane Clown Posse, the shirts, pretty much anything Insane Clown Posse or anything that has the Hatchet Man logo, Dinosaur Bolos. We already did the NASCAR Jurassic Park shirt. We already did Dino Riders. But the Jurassic Park, the big flesh toys, those are great. The Jurassic Park compound, that's great. Vintage Jurassic Park shirts, those are great. They even have a great vintage Disney shirt with a Tyrannosaurus Rex on the front. Another dinosaur bolo is Flintstone's Surprise at Dinosaur Peak. That one was a blockbuster exclusive, but somehow some copies got put out. So I'm over here just minding my business trying to go to Restaurantosaurus and I walk past this window and I see this poster for Dinosaur Jr. Dinosaur Jr. is a band and I've sold their concert shirts for over a thousand dollars. Bones Brigade, vintage skateboard stuff, sells great, super hot. I've also sold fashion victim sweatpants with bones running down the side. I've sold the same pair of sweatpants multiple times for $800 and $1,000. So Fashion Victim is a great brand to do a deep dive on. So obviously Animal Kingdom has a lot of animal related bolos, but I got another good one for toys. Battle Bees. They have little stickers on their stomach for either wood, fire, or water. And if you're a toy guy, they're always in the totes in the corner because they're small. So you have to like ruffle through the totes, tap them to the corner. They're always in the corner. But even better than Battle Beast, laser beast so it's been a couple of weeks since i did that bolo video that you're watching and i'm back out here now and i could do that same exact video with hundreds of more bolos and not even repeat a single one as i'm here things are just popping up left and right that i could have mentioned but maybe we'll do a part two if you guys want if you guys want a part two post it below and i'll do it as soon as you walk into hollywood studios they've got the coca-cola a lot of you guys know the Coca-Cola signs do well. Michael, I know you're watching. If you are, educate him about the glass globes. These lounge fly bags do pretty well as well. They have some limited edition ones that do even better. But depending on the character, these do pretty well. As we know, some Disney shirts can be pretty good. This one is inspired by a vintage all over print. Wonky pens and pencils do good, especially vintage pencils. Lisa Frank. Things like that. So this style of hat, this five panel hat, if you can get the Patagonia, the North Face, Nike, any kind of five panel hat seems to do better than just regular baseball hats. Darkwing Duck, vintage plush, nostalgia, the shirts, the toys. This Spider-Man shirt is not good, but if you can get the Spider-Man, Marvel, the Mega Prince, usually on a Fruit of the Loom tag. So these Star Wars shirts probably pass on when you see them, but they did a collaboration with Columbia that goes really good. And they also did a collaboration with a company called Kith. And of course the Star Wars vintage shirts too. These Star Wars lifesavers, when you see them at the garage sale, maybe let your kids play with them. These ones here, you can resell these. Even the neon signs, garage sales, keep an eye out for them. Back in my early days, I think I sold a couple Nike ones. Even if they're broken, people will still buy them and fix them, collect them, put them in their man cave. This is a crazy collaboration they have here. Tommy Hilfiger with Disney. This jacket here is 500 bucks almost. In a couple years, this will be at the thrift. They have a whole bunch of different Disney collaborations here. Big face Mickey on the sweater. There's a brand called Iceberg, Iceberg History. It's a vintage brand. In the late 90s, early 2000s, they did a collaboration with Disney and Looney Tunes that if you can find this stuff, it does really well. Here we got that goofy suicide skier, but we're really looking for that polo suicide skier. Goofy downhill skier. If you can read this, the rats fell off. There's a clothing line out there called Stray Rats. The clothes do okay, but they did a collaboration with New Balance that does pretty well. Caricature shirts, 
basketball, football, sports ones, those all do great. I've had both this Fantasia shirt and this Tower of Terror shirt several times each. Rock and roller coaster featuring Aerosmith. Tons of great Aerosmith shirts out there and tons of great vintage concert shirts out there too. But if you want to sell the vintage concert shirts, you have to learn your tags. You got to study your gilding, your Hanes, your Fruit of the Loom. All of those tags, you have to learn them so that way when you see them, you'll know that it's vintage because those old shirts most likely are not going to be dated. Pretzel Palooza, what about Lollapalooza? I've had those concert shirts several times. Mega Bolo, Cars on VHS. That was the last VHS that Disney ever made. That is a Mega Bolo. Out to my man Michael again. He's got a couple of these Dynaco dinosaurs in his backyard right now. Cars toys do good, but the Cars toys planes do even better. These trucker hats, probably not so great. They product trucker hats, really great and if you want to know more about hats i have a dedicated deep dive in the group that has made people hundreds and up to thousands of dollars just by learning hats i know i enjoy the coke icy but this reminds me the hidden mickeys i know we're at disney world but universal studios has a dueling dragons all over print shirt that sells good anaheim produce if you could find the old california angels logos on the hat or the jacket that sells the best because now they're known as the anaheim angels it's probably a little more obvious but if you can find old vintage Louis Vuitton luggage, I've never found one, but a guy at my flea market found one and he ended up selling it for thousands of dollars. Here's a very common Pirate of the Caribbean shirt. Probably had this one maybe 75 times. Disney has done a couple collaborations on Hawaiian shirts. Rain Spooner and Tommy Bahama are some of the best ones. I have no idea who these dudes are but Vintage Backstreet Boys and NSYNC shirts sell well. So we were just walking behind a lady that had a very nice Lululemon backpack. And if you keep an eye on what people are wearing, you can see what's popular and then go home and research that stuff. So as I'm sitting here, a lady has Lululemon shorts. What kind? Tracker shorts. That lady? Hottie Hot shorts. That one? Pace Rival Squirt. That one? ABC Chinos. Over there? What is that? That's the Metal Tech jack shirt, right? Metal Ventech shirt. Every single person here is wearing Lululemon like crazy, and every single person here is wearing Hoka's. Research your Hoka's. I've sold this Little Mermaid shirt a couple times. You remember those books when you were a kid, Choose Your Own Adventure? By the way, those are a bolo. I'm going to let you choose your adventure. Do you want an incredible list of adventures or a monster list of adventures? Choose now. The Edna Mode Art Gallery very fancy. Art tees do very well. Salvador Dali tees, Norman Rockwell, Andy Warhol. I sold an Andy Warhol shirt to John Mayer for 500 bucks. And of course, MC Escher shirts. Frozone suit, he does races with people at the Atlanta Braves game. Usually he never loses. Every now and then he catches an L. But vintage 90s Brave stuff does well when they had a dynasty going and also 96 Atlanta Olympics does well. All right, this is a crazy one, but this one is real. Vintage out of production spray paint colors. Keep an eye out at garage sales and flea markets for them. Speaking of flea market, we're at the market. If you go to the flea market with this list of bolos, you will guarantee make money and find more items. And I'm gonna show you just how deep my bolo knowledge goes. Cactus Plant Flea Market, Chinatown Market. Here we are at Toy Story Land in Hollywood Studios. There's Buzz Lightyear. There are a ton of vintage Toy Story shirts worth a bunch of money. I've probably sold five different Toy Story shirts for over $1,000 each personally. At the Roundup Rodeo, one of my favorite brands is Ralph Lauren Double RL, which is named after his ranch. The quality of clothing is so great that that clothing line has never been profitable. And if you find Double RL, big money. Did you know this Toy Story Bolo? What about Dino Riders? Did you know that the accessories sell more than even the toys sell for because every kid in America loses the accessories? While we're standing here, what about vintage Christmas? What about vintage Christmas light bulbs? What about blow molds? What about the Christmas trees made of glass that the taller they are, the more that they sell for? You guys are probably thinking some of these bolos are ridiculous. How do you turn everything into a bolo? Well, right here. That star right there is the polo ball logo. It's one of the holy grails that I hope to find. The red satin jacket is on my bucket list. 
But if you want to learn about polo inside of the group, I have probably one of the best deep dives on the internet on how to learn polo and how to make a bunch of money. Speaking of that, this lady right here has a vintage Disney shirt and I don't even see the tag, but I already know that is a Velveteen tag. You can go down an entire rabbit hole about pennies. There's certain pennies that are actually worth a fortune. I don't know if that is a grasshopper or a cricket, but cricket and cricket accessories go for great money and you can usually find them at a garage sale. Somebody who gave up cricketeering. Here we are in Star Wars land now in Hollywood Studios and there's a ton of Star Wars bolos. I've sold Star Wars shirts for $500 or more. I have a couple in my store currently by Liquid Blue all over prints that I've sold between $300 and $500 routinely, no problem. When Disney first acquired the rights for Star Wars, we sold the BB-8s that were remote control from the phone, Bluetooth. Holy Toledo, Batman. We made so much money selling those during Christmas time because they were out of stock everywhere. Did y'all catch that last one? That was a two for one. You got to pay attention. It comes quick. You might even have to watch this video two or three times to catch everything. While we got you here, vintage Star Wars toys from the 70s. Big money. If you're looking for it, you will find it usually at garage sales or flea markets. I have found a ton of it myself. Some even brand new from the 70s. I've sold figures over $1,000 in my eBay career. But even stranger, the bootleg Star Wars toys, the old ones, are worth so much money. However, I would not recommend selling those on eBay, but there are collectors, there are platforms for that. But study your vintage Star Wars figures. They're out there all the time, especially the carrying cases, parts or pieces, it doesn't matter. All of that stuff is worth great money. Got any bolos? Let's go. Okay, okay, sorry, man. Just trying to help the people. This guy right here is wearing a vintage Garth Brooks shirt. This is not it, but this like very gothic stuff, a great brand for the gothic stuff is Trip NYC. The pants, the women's stuff, the sweaters, jackets, killer prices. I know we touched on shoes a little bit earlier, but everywhere I look, Hoka's, on clouds. If I was Nike, I would start to get a little bit worried because this is out of control. But if you sell shoes, you want to be around other shoe sellers, talk game, learn, improve. We have a great shoe call in the Facebook group. So I just want to remind you and just make it clear. I don't have a huge list. I didn't cram for this. I'm not sitting at the computer looking at actives and sold and coming up with a list to show you guys. I'm out here freestyling. That guy over there has a Cotopaxi fanny pack. Cotopaxi, I'm starting to see it more and more and more. It's on the rise. Start looking for it. Start investigating. Start learning these brands because they're out there and we need to be picking them up. There goes Goofy, the Goof Troop shirt. Is a grail for a lot of people. PJ, the whole crew, Goof Troop, anything Goof Troop sells for good money. Muppet Babies, Jim Henson, Kermit the Frog. Obviously anything 90s, anything nostalgia does good, but for the shirts, the all over prints, the mega prints, the big faces, that's what you're looking for. The in your face graphics are gonna sell for the most money. And I know this guy is a Muppet, but he reminds me of Where Are the Wild Things? And there's a couple really good shirts from that book. When you're at garage sales, sometimes people have like art supplies. I remember one time at the flea market, I picked up a bunch of markers and stuff. That stuff sold for crazy money. Art supplies are expensive. Can't forget about the Kermit the Frog Supreme collab. Who's got this one right here? The Jeezy the Snowman Wrap Tea. Tall Tea. All right, guys, I'm going to let you participate. Post your favorite blazer bolo below. My favorite is Bruno Succanelli. Not so much for the blazers, but for just the plain t-shirts. The plain t-shirts like Mark Zuckerberg wears, those retail for like four or five hundred bucks brand new. And you can find them at the thrift store for five bucks and sell them for great money. Who remembers the ultimate McDonald's bolo? I'm going to give you guys a second. The ultimate McDonald's toy bolo. Beanie Babies. Indiana Jones. They got some great vintage t-shirts out there. And this is a weird one. I've never sold these personally. But if you can get legit real whips, they'll sell for a lot of money. Primetime TV. I've sold a couple of like the I Love Lucy big prints. They'll sell for pretty good money. Of course. Doc Martens. You want the made in England ones though. So Disney owns ABC. They have a little ABC section over here. I actually sold a couple of shirts to the Goldbergs TV show. They were signed Hoobastank shirts. As weird as that is, they bought about three or four of them. We already did the Starbucks tumblers. These things are $30 on sale from $49.99. That's crazy. But the Starbucks mugs, if you can get the city mugs from back in the day, 
Those sell pretty good still. The bolos continue. Nobody has ever made a bolo video like this. We might be averaging one bolo every five seconds, but this is what you get here. No copying, original ideas, bolos on top of bolos on location. So we're here underneath this giant golf ball, and I'll give you three of my favorite golf brands to sell. One is Grayson, one is Roebuck, which has probably the best sell through I've ever seen in my life. And then Footjoy shirts with the Titleist patch or the Scotty Cameron patch. Here in Epcot, everything is kind of themed for different countries. So here they have this kind of bread that looks like a tree. It's like Giselle Buncham or something. But antiques from Germany or West Germany are usually pretty good. But Adidas from Germany or West Germany, the old stuff, like the key rolling, that stuff is worth great money and sells very fast. Mission Space. There's a very cool all over print universe shirt that's pretty common. I've had it several times. It sells great. But the Grateful Dead Space Your Face stuff, the all over print with the big bear on the moon. Continuing on the Mission Space theme, one of my favorite jackets is the Polo Jeans NASA jacket. And my favorite picture of that jacket is Mel B. Scary Spice wearing it. Test track ride. My bolo for this one is Vintage Crash Test Dummy Toys. They might be one of the coolest toy lines from the 90s. They sell all right, but they're super cool. You got to rescue them when you see them out there, especially if you're a toy guy. I know we've already talked about the toy call, but it's presented by Chevrolet. We got to talk about the car parts seller call in the group. Jared runs a fantastic call. A bunch of car parts sellers in there. We're over here in Imagine Works, and this is where Figment is. Figment has a huge following for collectors. I've only sold a couple of shirts for Figment, but when I did sell the shirts, they do go for a premium. But pretty much anything Figment, there's a huge following for this character. All right, guys. I really contemplated on releasing this one because this, this one is big. This one is major. And against my better judgment, I'm going to tell you. Come closer. Disney Black Diamond VHS. Yeah. Check the comps. Ultimate Bolo. So not only am I giving you the best Bolo list that has ever been created and curated, you're also going to go all the way around the world with me. If you look over there, there's the Eiffel Tower from Paris, and I'm going to take you there. Keith Haring shirts. This is a reprint, but I've sold Keith Haring shirts for multiple hundreds of dollars. I had the white and black South Africa one that has a picture of him wearing it. Hola amigos, bendidos Mexico. These Baja jackets, they sell pretty good. They usually don't have very strong brands attached to them. So you have to use very good keywords um, like drug rug. All right, guys, we're in Mexico. I know Carl, he saw it coming. Get out your reseller bingo cards. Polo for sombreros. So while we're in Mexico, it's worth mentioning Mexican silver jewelry. I learned about that in the jewelry call of the group. We have a great jewelry call in the group full of jewelry sellers. And every single time I go on that call, I learn so much about keywords and the importance of keywords because a lot of the jewelry doesn't have brands attached to them. So keywords are so major in that niche and that call talks about it all the time. So over here in Norway, they have a pretty common brand, but maybe not everybody knows about it. Heli Hansen, great brand. The jackets and kind of like the snow gear, snow pants do the best, but they have all kinds of stuff, some dresses, some shirts, everything from this brand sells, even the hats, but you're going to do best with these jackets. Great, great, great brand. This is Dale of Norway. Catch the tag for you. Dale of Norway. This stuff, the older stuff, the chunky sweaters, Dale of Norway. If you're passing on that, you're crazy. Next stop, China. I've had this Mulan shirt twice, and I also had it one time and it was dry rot. Germany, I'll hit you with a couple German bolos. So we're in Germany now, and the Nutcrackers, they sell. I've never done it, it's not my thing. I did have a friend I used to go to the flea market with and he used to do okay with them. Obviously the bigger and like the more ornate they are, the more money they sell for. But these teddy bears, the old ones, the old Steiff teddy bears, Oh my, again, you might be able to retire, you find an old one. So this is another one I never ventured down, but 
there are some steins out there that are worth a crazy amount of money and it's probably worth a deep dive if you're a garage sale flea market kind of buyer i don't have a ton of experience with these but the lionel trains i did buy a couple totes full of those back in my flea market early days i did pretty well with them they sold pretty good um, but i am by no means an expert on these things there are true experts on these things and a ton of collectors if you get the right ones italy obviously a ton of great brands are from italy but italy is one of those check boxes that you want to check off on a brand that you're not sure of so you see italy you see it's made of a good fabric or a good leather that's one of those indications that maybe this is an item that we should investigate further dolce and gabbana you have to be careful with open perfume technically it's against ebay rules i know some people try to circumvent and put it into collectibles but definitely read the rules and regulations against open perfume and here we are in america in america and one of my favorite american brands classic american brand polo ralph lauren ralph lauren however you want to say it and my favorite pieces from ralph lauren is the aztec fireball pattern the fireball pattern is so beautiful if i was like a clothing guy and had more than just a handful of shirts the fireball pattern would be in the closet bolos don't stop we're over here in japan there's tons of bolos here bolo koi fish but not what you think a couple of years ago i read an article about some guys who went to a park dressed as maintenance workers handed out business cards and everything saying they were there to remove sick koi and they ended up stealing all the koi fish and it was worth a ton of money but however there are some koi fish that are worth like millions of dollars but don't go out stealing koi fish so in japan obviously a lot of the stuff that's pop culture and has a good following sells good um your anime stuff the manga stuff uh pokemon those types of video games those do real good rpg games for playstation do good sailor moon sailor moon stuff i have a sailor moon shirt at my store right now that will sell for a thousand dollars so vintage pokemon shirts vintage sailor moon nintendo also not my area of expertise but i've seen people find kimonos at the bins and sell them for crazy money too so kimonos is not a bad idea to study up on either oh this is different but the korean satin jackets the bomber jackets the souvenir jackets sell great I know this is Japanese, but the Korean souvenir jackets are good. Also, the old military, they're called party suits. Another good Japanese inspired one is the vintage Nike Geisha shirt with the pinwheel tag. You gotta learn your Nike tags. You gotta learn your pinwheel tag, your blue tag, all the tags all the way up through present day. But the Geisha shirt, that's a bolo. So whatever ridiculous reason, Hanson just performed here for a concert. I guess Epcot does eat to the beat. Obviously, the bolo for Hanson is vintage Hanson shirts. I have never seen more crunk 40-year-olds in one spot in my entire life. All right, so let's start off France with a Nolo, Montclair. Montclair sells for a lot of money. It's very valuable, but they will give you a Vero. Even if it's legit, they're coming with a Vero, so don't list Montclair on eBay. Speaking of super yeah, protective bro. brands, Chanel. You wouldn't catch me listing Chanel anytime, anywhere. Polo's got a couple designed with some terriers on it. They've also got some Labrador designs. There's a golf brand called Sunderland of Scotland. It's all right. Some of the stuff sells yeah. okay. But this brand here, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce it. Um, they did some stuff with or for Princess Diana. It sells good. What's the keyword for this pattern, everybody? We did it on the Terry video. Post it below. There's some really good 101 Dalmatian vintage shirts. I've sold a couple. I had a couple that were dead stock a couple months ago. Beatles course lots of licensing these days but the older stuff of course is probably what you're looking for in the group we have a dedicated call for uk sellers hosted by james bold finds and we also have a dedicated call for australians hosted by mel back from burnout howdy you all <laughs> y'all howdy y'all the mickey watches the old ones sell for a lot of money they usually just have a simple black leather band so there you have it party people quite possibly the most amount of bolos in the history of reselling, in the history of YouTube, freestyled off the dome. No notes. I know there was a lot of information here. Like I said in the beginning, you might have to pause the video. And every single time that I mention a bolo, open up the eBay machine and do a little bit of a deep dive on what's mentioned. Because I just threw out a brand. You have to do more research to figure out more in-depth knowledge and the nuances that are inside of that brand. So if you like reselling, you want to learn about stuff like this, 
There's a post below to a Facebook group where that's all we do. Learn, study, get better, make more money. If you made it this far, I appreciate it. As always, be great.